Today we're going to check out plugins that go straight to the point, like this Gorilla Drive. It has an input, an output, a tone knob, bypass and phase flipping, blend which is mix, and an auto gain option. And that's it, and it sounds great! Not only that, it has a beautiful screaming gorilla on it. Well, this is the main concept of Safari pedals. Beautiful creative interfaces and straight to the point workflow. Now, they gave me access to all of their plugins, but without the strings attached so I can say whatever I want on this video. It took a lot of time testing all of these plugins, so please, if you appreciate that, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. For me, a plugin that goes straight to the point needs at least three of these characteristics. One, it needs to be efficient. Two, it has to have a great sound. And three, it can be something more experimental or unique. So what I did is classifying the different plugins by Safari Pedals in these three categories. Of course, they can share categories, but I think I separate them by the main features. So Gorilla Drive is part of the efficient category. Next to it is Flamingo Verb. This one sounds pretty nice, and it has all the basic parameters you will need for a reverb. Timing, the pre-delay, filtering, the width, and the mix knob. Now, it also has a drive knob, which makes it a little bit more unique. But still, it's a straight-to-the-point reverb that sounds pretty nice. Next up, we have Lion Master, something that you can put on your master bus, and maybe even on mastering. of Shelby EQs, saturation, width, and a true peak limiter. Not only that, it also has auto gain, which is perfect for this kind of plugins. The Shelby EQs are for the low frequencies and the high frequencies, and you can change the crossover point, so you apply it as you want. The saturation is pretty sweet, and the width can go from subtle to crazy. You even have the meters for gain reduction, and an option for oversampling. So let's listen to it in the context of a song. I like how it sounds, we have many other options out there, but as I said, this one is very efficient. Sometimes it's good to have plugins that you can set quickly. Then we have All Control, which is a multi-mode compressor. The types of compression are smooth, pump, lo-fi, and mix bus. I believe these modes are going to change the relationship between attack and release, and maybe the threshold and whatnot, and they sound as the name suggests. We can change the speed, the ratio, and even add a little bit of width. Now, the second section is sound. Let's start by the one that's not a pedal. Fox Echo Chorus is a great emulation of the Roland 501. It looks similar to the Space Echo 201 because it's like from the same family. This one has delay and a chorus. Give you a piece of me in the day and night. Yeah, I'll always be. This is on the sound category because the sound is all about an analog emulation. And I believe it's a great one. You can get many similar results to the Space Echo. And the chorus is pretty interesting too. It has that old rawness and vibe. You've been on my mind since we met that day. Can we run away? Yeah. And I don't think there are many other emulations of this specific unit. The next one is Rabbit Tape. This is the tape machine for me. <laughs> In all seriousness, it sounds very good.
and it has two sound profiles, reel-to-reel -reel and a cassette tape. Each one will give you a different vibe and the saturation it offers is very different from other saturation that you have. You can add wall one floater as you will expect from a tape emulation. It has oversampling, auto gain, and you can add grit to it. And they, and they, it's not my time. I'm just feeling right. Closing away in this game we play. I won't go. Again, this one of course is efficient, but I think the main focus is on the sound. Drone EQ seems to be a simple 3 band EQ, but it's on the sound section because each band has a drive amount. Which, of course, will add saturation to that specific band. Of course, this can be considered a little bit more experimental, but I got excellent results with it. Then we have Ladybug Reverb, which it says it's a lo-fi effect, but that's not the reason why it's on the sound category. The real reason is because it's emulating two types of reverb, one is a spring and the other is plate, and both sound really good. Say it if you mean it, tear my heart to pieces, say it if you mean it, don't be shy. Now it has extra parameters as the lo-fi knob, and also you can add compression to the wet signal. And the sound will change also depending on how much you feed into it. Now let's go to my favorite category where I put the plugins that I consider to be more unique and even a bit experimental. First of all, we have Jack Delay. On the surface, it's a simple plain delay. I don't wanna talk about it. Say you love me, but I doubt it. Now, the thing that makes it a little bit more experimental is the random button right here. This button will change all of the parameters over time. And of course, as this is a delay, it will give you results like this. I don't wanna talk, talk about it. Talk about Say you love me, but I doubt it. Of course, you can choose to disable some of these parameters, but the results are always going to be a bit experimental. I don't wanna talk about it. Say you love me, but I doubt it. The time machine is pretty simple, it will recreate the sound of playback devices of the 50s, the 60s, the 70s and the 80s. Each one has its own flavor and it can let you create some sort of old radio or whatever. It's not my time, I'm just feeling right, Tossing away in this game we it also adds saturation, that's why it has an input and an output and an auto gain, and you can add compression to even further change the sound. Next up we have Dirty Dog Reverb, which is a very interesting concept. It's a distortion reverb. I can tell that you want it. This was made in collaboration with Joe Ciccarelli. I don't know if even he pronounces his last name correctly. The thing with this one is that you cannot choose to apply or not the distortion. It's always a distorted reverb. And that's what makes it so interesting and experimental. Of course you will have the basic parameters for a distortion and a reverb. Not only that, they added a gate that can be set to pre, post or both, and that will start cutting the sound, making it even more unstable and choppy. <laughs> it 
So yeah, this is a very unique concept, maybe the most unique Safari pedal. Of course, you have to experiment with it to find sweet spots and know in which sources or for what purposes you want to use it. Then we have the Rhino River. It says it's a reverberation amp. Where did you go, baby? Where did you go? Where did you go, baby? Where did you go? I don't know if it's emulating anything, but if it does, I will add that when I'm editing this video. Again, this is a very unique sounding and even experimental type of reverb. It's not as distorted as Dirty Dog, but it has its own unique character to it. I've been experimenting with vocals and drums and it sounds great. I gotta say this one is also one of my favorites from Safari Pedals. But I also want to know which one did you like the best, so let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you next time. Bye bye!